Uh, the Kimberley belt is using a, uh, a knot that was uh, already in existence. It was used originally to basically anchor uh, reins to bridles, predominantly on cattle stations in the, uh, in the northern parts of Australia. That's the Kimberley name, or uh, it was also referred to as the golf knot. Basically the idea came about where, again, trying to follow that same philosophy that there is more potential within the material in its natural state and how can we manipulate the material rather than constantly cutting and stitching potentially unnecessarily. It's a very ingenious uh, knot, uh, as a lot of Australian rural uh, work is. Uh, and so basically the idea was to grab it from its current application and push it further to not only anchor the buckle, but also wet mould and compress the leather so it was becoming its own keeper. I'm also using a solid stainless steel buckle in the, uh, in the design as well. Uh, because some people do have a reaction to nickel plate um, and also stainless steel is just a wonderful uh, material and it has a beautiful uh, patina and contrast to the leather when it's sunk into the, uh, the belt. The Kimberley knot delivers a solid piece of leather to come all the way through right up until the buckle until it returns 180 degrees and is split into three where it's wet mould and becomes its own keeper. So this gives us the massive benefit of huge strength and a very, very long term knot basically which has minimised any points of failure. So there's no interruptions now to that surface that would act as perforations such as stitching or rivets. Uh, the other thing that we end up with uh, is two layers where it has all of the movement on the buckle, so it's incredibly tough and long-lasting.